Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about shape cutting, plasma, laser, water jet, uh, and some text. So we're going to jump right into it. Uh, we're going to create some text, shape cutting, and then we'll set what our text height is. And then you can use any window type font. I'm using Arial, which is fine. And we'll choose OK. And then um, I just want to drop this on the screen. OK. So shape cutting. Now, one of the things about this is when you're, when you're cutting letters out, you're going to have drop, like you can see in the P here or in the A. So depending on how you've created the sign uh, that you're working with, that could be a problem. Okay, So there is a, a simple solution that you can have uh, to connect all your letters together. I, I want to have a bar along the bottom of all my letters here to connect all my letters together. So uh, one of the things that I'm going to do is explode my text and uh, this is going to convert it into lines or arcs. Then the next thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle. So we're going to do other rectangle. Uh, this is going to be top. We'll call this uh, 15. Uh, let's make it a little longer. Okay, 17 thickness. Let's say a quarter inch. Now, one of the things that I want to make sure that this this does is I want to make sure that it intersects with my letters here. So in my Y I'm just going to make this 0.05 and then that way I'm sure that all my letters are intersected. Okay. So from there I'll just click OK and that's drawn the rectangle. Now from here what we want to do is we want to trim these shapes away from each other. Okay. Uh, so that we're left with one connected um, group of entities. So we've added a, a new feature for this. This is called 2D Booleans. So we'll do 2D Boolean. We're going to do an add function. And I'm going to select everything that is orange first. And then hit my space bar. And then everything that is yellow. And then hit my space bar. And then cancel. And you can see how this is connected um, all the bottom shapes together so that when we have our drop um, it actually won't uh, it won't cut out now if we needed to add additional uh, connections here we could do the same thing like um, we'll do a rectangle and let's say 0.25 by 0.25 so if we want to do a, a sometimes they're called bridges uh, we can add a bridge in like this and then we would do the same thing. Utilities, 2D Boolean. We'll select all this stuff here. Um, I think I want to do a subtract this time. So we'll do all of that and then all of this. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. Let's do an add. <laughs> we'll select all of this and then all of that. And there we go. And we can do the same thing here. All of this and then all of that. Uh, uh, subtract, sorry. All of this, all of that, there we go. And then that way, um, you know, it's a really powerful tool. 2D Booleans, uh, it comes standard with the version 27. Uh, great for shape cutting and setting up letters um, or general 2D drawings. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Thank you so much, guys.